This video is brought to you by Mubi, a curated streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the globe. Get a whole month free at Mubi.com slash Lauren. Okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a Sunday in Paris, France, which means only just about two things are open, the cinema and the park, so I'll be going to the cinema and the park. I'm going to a 2 p.m. showing of A Streetcar Named Desire. Have no idea what it's about. That is the great thing about indie cinema is that like you they just play anything. You just pick you just it's like a like a game of um roulette, roulette, roulette. <laughs> I do know Paul Mescal recently performed the play A Streetcar Named Desire in London. So if Paul Mescal likes it, I'll probably like it. You know what I'm saying? Because um, me and Paul, we go way back. We're like really tight. We're like not lovers, but like, well. <laughs> And then I'll probably go to a park and read after that. Really exciting day. Actually, an ideal day for myself. So I have to go though because per my fashion, I am leaving about 10 minutes before the movie starts. So see y'all there. See y'all there. Hope to see you too there, Paul Mescal. I love you so much, Paul Mescal. Profusely sweating and I have left my hair to dry. Thank you for watching. Profusely, shut the fuck up. Profusely sweating and I have yet to leave the apartment building is what I meant to say. Je suis là, je suis là. I've never been to this movie theater, but it's in a very cool, cute little nook just like a little side street and if there's one thing i fucking love it's a side street a little alleyway a little cute alleyway i really picked up this camera on sunday vlogged three clips put it down and now it's three days later. It is Wednesday, but I'm gonna continue the vlog. I, every surface in my apartment is hot. It's, it's warm to the touch. Imagine getting in bed at night and the sheets feel like they just got out of the dryer. That's what it feels like. I, I'm in a perpetual state of perspiration. I have to keep my phone like this because if I don't, it will overheat and be unusable. I just took my second freezing cold shower of the day, which they say is great for your health to take freezing cold showers, which I would never do willingly, but I have to, because if I don't, I, I just don't know how to cool down. I don't know how to cool the body temperature down. So I went out, I sat at a cafe and edited a video that I just uploaded. Got home because I was sweating because the cafe didn't have AC, took a shower, and now, I'm gonna go back out again and I'm going to I'm gonna go to a magazine shop because I need to buy a magazine. There's a magazine I want with Paul Mescal. I'm really proud of him. I love literature and I love when Paul Mescal is like on the face of the lit on the front of the literature. Like I just love um, words and reading because that's why I'm gonna get the magazine is because of the words. And then I'm meeting a friend for cocktails because there's really not much to do in Paris but consume alcohol especially during the summer it's like what do you want to do well okay it's either a museum or you go drink alcohol and that is what we're gonna do is we're gonna get cocktails and i will 
be faded by my second sip because that is what happens to me because I'm a lightweight. And you know what? It's economically efficient. My body is like, you only need one drink to feel something because we don't want to spend anything more than 15 euro because cocktails are 15 euro each just about. And that's insane because I know it, it costs them a euro to make. Capitalism is truly just... Shit. My favorite. I've been using it for about three years now. It reminds me of summertime. It reminds me of rebirth, newness. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Oh my god, they're closed. They're closed. I just wanna get my Palmasca literature. Drinks were literally delicious. Now I'm going to go to a little bookstore because we ended up, it ended up that we were right by it. It's like um, an art bookstore called OFR Gallery. I'm gonna go there, browse. Maybe they have a comic style magazine. I just remembered I need to get this baby developed. So I'm going to go to a Kodak Express and see if they can develop the film. Um, Timothy, Ch Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet when he sees me. to the bank because I have if here's one thing okay if you are moving to France and you don't need to get a French bank account don't get it unless don't get it unless the government themselves are knocking down your door telling you to get a bank account because it will just be a burden that sits in the back of your mind every single day like a like anyways I'm going to close my French bank account because I don't need it and it's currently in the negative 500s but i don't know how that happened because i don't use it for anything that's a good rat it's a bit of a rainy day but frankly we needed we needed this little cool down honestly like low-key hella hella blessed that it's been just sunny and nice out recently well not nice it's been sunny and hot but i love the sun i love the sun your bottom dollar that tomorrow people don't know they're in the presence of greatness right now i'm literally a broadway star oh surprise we got some mail oh not let me not show let me not show my address Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Maman est à la maison. Maman est à la maison. Where is everybody? Hey, where y'all at? The reality is I'm alone. Shit. Yeah, so basically, um, in case y'all didn't know, I launched a Discord server and we host movie nights on it sometimes and today is one of our movie nights we're watching amelie the french movie so it's just like really fun it's just like really great vibes in my discord server and everybody's really nice the link for the discord will be in the, the description hopefully we'll be having a movie night soon it's just like a fun time it's just like we bond okay it is starting in one minute so let me go 
and join the channel. All right, bye guys. I'm attending Rock and Sen today. Rock, rock, rock and Sen, like rock music on the Sen River, even though it's not on the Sen River. It absolutely does take place on the Sen River. It was frighteningly American of me to not know my geography and assume that the Sen only passes through the center of Paris and not other areas such as its perimeter. I'm seeing Ethel Kane and I actually only discovered her music like two months ago and I think it's it's all I've been listening to. It's all I listen to, like I live and breathe Ethel Kane. So here's the thing, the album tells a story of a character named Ethel Kane and she performs as Ethel Kane. It's about this girl who grows up in like the deep depths of like southern america like where all you know is like god and like people get married at 20 and have eight kids by 22. it's basically her story and she goes through this adventure and she finds these like horrible toxic lovers along the way the, the album tells this story and then she's kidnapped by one of the lovers and um he sells her as a sex slave and then the last few songs are like her entering death and like death taking her in and we find out that the lover actually killed her and then the last one is a, is about her in his freezer and he takes her out of the freezer and starts eating her so like mentally i should not be listening to this um album but like sonically it's a beautiful masterpiece lyrically as well if you just like don't listen to the lyrics when you're like not in the right mind space though it's a great album um i don't know anyone else who's playing today so i'm just gonna show up for for miss ethel i just like america like american flag american pride when i listen to ethel kane i am proud to be an american sound the eagles sound the eagles right it's like so suddenly i need to diarrhea why does that happen why does that happen? And I said her name Love's never meant much to me Ooh, But I'll come with you If you're sure it's what you need You said her name festival person but um mother miss ethel kane was probably one of the best musical performances ever i'm doing laundry and it sounded like there was a living being in the in the laundry in the washing machine but it sounds better now um i'm drinking a latte that i made with the creamer that i smuggled from america hi chobani best creamer on the market but you Europeans wouldn't know because you've never experienced coffee creamer the way an American experiences coffee creamer. We like to inject it into our veins. I love my black coffee, don't get me wrong. Like, don't talk to me until I've had my black coffee in the morning, but towards like late afternoon, evening, when I have like my fifth coffee of the day, I like it to be sweet. I like it to be so sweet I could hardly palate it. That's how I like my coffee. I'm watching the new A24 movie directed by Celine Song called Past Lives and I'm really excited because I heard great things about it. And let me resume because I've literally only watched like four minutes of it. I'll let you know what I think. I love the LGBTQ pluses. And do you know who else loves the LGBTQ pluses? Paris, France. Be who you are for your pride, yeah. I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Mubi, friend of the channel, we love them here. Mubi is for lovers of great cinema. 
and for those who don't yet know they love great cinema. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Mubi is a streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the globe, and when I say curated, I mean curated. They have a staff that is handpicking every single film they are streaming on the platform. Each film on Mubi is accompanied by a little excerpt that explains why watching said film might be worth your time. And this is one of my favorite features of Mubi because as an indecisive girly, I never know what to watch at night or during the day because all I do is watch movies. And that little excerpt helps me make my decision. They have such a catalog, you can find something directed by a renowned director like Wong Kar Wai or an emerging auteur like Emma Seligman. Recently, I rewatched the film Still Walking by Hirokazu Koreeda. If you feel like getting punched in the gut and also wanting to go hug your mother and father immediately, I do recommend watching it. I discovered Koreeda's work through Mubi and since have been just enthralled with it. His films are so slow paced and depict familial tension and love in just a way that I've never seen another director do it before. You can try Mubi for free for 30 days at Mubi.com slash Lauren. That is M-U-B-I dot com slash Lauren for a free month of great cinema. Thank you Mubi for once again sponsoring today's video. Go watch a movie. I realized I never filmed an outro. Um, I'm on my fourth bowl of noodles and salad and it is 10 p.m shit i'm just vibing in here i just finished interstellar watching interstellar and um got a really good cry in my daily cry but i just wanted to end the vlog i will be uploading very soon it won't be like 40 days until my next video like it like it has been thank you for watching i will see you guys very soon i love you so much until next time Okay. Bye. <laughs>